Well, it's been a big year for the city of Mobile, Alabama. Last month, Airbus opened its first U.S. manufacturing plant in the city, while Carnival Cruise Line announced that it will resume sailing in the port city starting next year after leaving the area back in 2011. For more, I'm joined now by the mayor of Mobile, Sandy Stimson, and Bill Sisson, the CEO of the Mobile Area Chamber of Commerce. And gentlemen, it's great to have you here. Welcome. It's great good to be, be here. here. So, Mayor, I'll start with you. Tell us what drove Airbus to open up this $600 million manufacturing facility. You know, Mobile uh, has infrastructure that's second to none, uh, with a deep water port, two interstates, five class one railroads. Uh, we have a workforce uh, development program in conjunction with the state that's a model for the nation, and we have the friendliest, hardest working people in America. And what is the facility going to do economic-wise for the city? Well, you know, the, the, the future is really in the growth of the facility. Uh, they hope to build four airplanes a month. Uh, that's the, the first target, uh, and I think as they get to rate eight and other suppliers start moving in the city, it's very difficult to project, you know, what it really means for the city, but possibly 4,000 jobs uh, over the next few years. And 40 to 50 planes mm -hmm. a year by 2018, that's pretty impressive, right, Bill? What's really exciting is that, you know, Mobile is now the world's newest, fastest growing aviation aerospace cluster, and I think that that, uh, that certainly bodes well for our future economy in our, in our region. And Mayor, uh, Carnival Cruise Line left the city in terms of sailing back in 2011, uh, but they're now coming back. But tell us why they left in the first place. Well, if you ask them, it was economics. You know, there were other ports where they could make more money, uh, were making more money, and so they just moved some ships to take advantage of that because of the downturn in the economy. Uh, it was never about service. They loved Mobile, uh, but we just uh, had a situation where we kept courting them and they'd made the decision to come back. So why now? Why come back around this time? Well, as Carnival grows, you know, they have to have a place to put some of their uh, newer ships. And But uh, other than that, they recognized that Mobile did a great job service-wise and they liked the drive-in market in our area. And just the time was right for them. And Bill, of course, Mobile is a port city. We all remember that port dispute on the, on the West Coast right. last year. Mm -hmm. Do you think we would ever see something like that again, perhaps even on the East Coast? You know, I think that in Mobile, we, we feel like that um, for, for us, our port, because of the fact that we have organized and non-organized labor working side by side, and um, we, we've really not been um, a port that's had a lot of issues there. In fact, the last strike was in the mid-80s. So we think that we're in a pretty good position to actually um, fare that well. But it's certainly an issue. I mean, Mayor, I'll ask you the same question. I mean, how do we prevent port dysfunction? Because if you look at the West Coast one, it, it took a ding to GDP. Well, you know, I think it all has to do with uh, labor relations and how you treat your employees. And uh, in the city of Mobile, and Alabama's a right-to-work state, and uh, we've just done a good job uh, working uh, with labor uh, and with our employees, you know, to, to avoid those kind of issues. All right, just very quickly, we have Carnival Cruise, Airbus, what is next for Mobile? Well, we have several things in the pipeline, uh, some of which are confidential right now, but just a lot of excitement. You know, it's kind of like building momentum uh, in a sporting event. Uh, when you build momentum, you need to score, and we'll be scoring shortly. All right, gentlemen, we'll leave it there for right now. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Yeah, good. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.